finally get to wear the U.S. singlet at the U.S. Uh, World Championships. How does it feel? Great, great, great. I uh, accidentally brought back the streak of fourth in the prelim, but uh, luckily on time I made it through. So uh, I was a little, like, I think I, I don't know, I just like, maybe it was, at my last hundred I wasn't like super pleased with, but I'll figure that out for the final it'd be great yeah you, you excited to be in the final definitely for sure i mean that's the i mean getting the, through the rounds is uh like kind of the nerve-wracking part and then the finals is just let it rip and this is what we've been training for so i'm excited do you come in with a place goal in mind uh i mean honestly it it's a really really deep and good field um but I want to shoot for top five. I mean, honestly, that it's a lofty goal, but I'm here and there's nothing to lose, so why not, you know? What's your uh, reaction to Salazar news that broke today? Um, so I'm not that surprised, to be honest. Um, and it's, I mean, I, uh, I am a clean athlete and I do train my ass off, so it pisses me off that people cheat in the sport, to be completely honest. Um, and I was in a group that uh, definitely had suspicions um, before. And, but it's like hard to say anything until something comes out. And, um, and I don't believe every athlete in that group is dirty for sure. But um, it's like we need to get drug cheats out of the sport. So um, I'm glad it came to the surface. Do you feel like it's a problem for you and other athletes not to really be able to speak your mind on an issue like this until you know actually sanctions have been handled down, handed down? Um, yes, but I don't know if it's us as an athlete's job to speak. I mean, we just need to train hard and let the people, I mean, I guess I would feel um, bad saying, like disparaging someone if it's not, if it's here saying it's not true. And that would suck if you're on the wrong side of that to be uh, a clean athlete and someone thought like, um, I should, probably shouldn't even bring this up, but like when I trained with Evan, he's the cleanest guy I know, or like in my mind, and that one like weird article came out that one year that I don't think was true at all, and it was just like hackers that wanted to make people mad. So I, it's like, I think there's a lot of um, things you can go wrong if you start pointing fingers too early. Um, and I guess it's just, we need to keep putting money and keep putting it time and keep, um, and don't let people off easy. You know, like that's the real thing is we need to, um, we don't need to protect people that are cheating. We need to not protect people that are cheating, I guess. So I guess that's all. Like, I don't think we need to speak before something comes out because we don't really, I don't know as an athlete, it's just hearsay at that point. Do you think it's a good day for the sport though? Uh, or do you think it's a bad day for the sport? I think it's a bad day for the sport. Honestly, I wish everyone was clean and it was an even playing field. But I guess if it means that there's going to be more clean athletes going forward, then it's a good thing. How pervasive is the speculation within the athlete community? Uh, pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people were... Um, and no one knows... It's funny that no one knows things about the athletes. You know, like, it's hard to say, like... And what's so hard is, like... <laughs> dopers aren't, like, these mean, like angry people they're nice um easy to get along with people so you just don't know who's doping and it's a hard thing to say but i just put my head down and try and not think about it between these things and just work hard and try and be the best athlete i can be and that's all all i can really do so thanks congrats on making the final